All of us need help knocking out our to-do lists, and now it turns out that anyone with access to a computer can also get a personal assistant to help out, a virtual personal assistant. Becky Worley has been outsourcing her list online, and she joins us by Skype from Oakland, California, to tell us about it. Hey, Becky. Good morning, George. Yeah, like every other person on the planet, I can't stand errands, logistics, or the tedious tasks that make everyday life possible. So the idea of getting an online assistant to do my scut work for just $2 a chore, oh, this I had to try. Wouldn't it be great to have a personal assistant? Get me that little table that I like and some reservation for dinner tonight. But hiring someone like Andrea Sachs in the Devil Wears Prado would cost a fortune, right? Go, 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 go! Maybe not. A new crop of online personal assistants promise to cheaply help you book doctor's appointments, buy gifts, and even research buying an appliance. I tested three of these services, Ask Sunday, Red Butler, and iHabilis.com. Each charge is roughly $2 per task. So my goal, see if they could help me tackle my to-do list. First up, I need a hotel for a family getaway on the 4th of July. I input my request online at AskSunday.com. They sent me five hotel and rental house suggestions. Four weren't available for the dates that I submitted. The fifth, however, was a good lead, but I still had to do a fair amount of legwork. Next, a baby gift. Redbutler.com provided some generic options, but they did find me a code for a 10% discount. And when I picked the gift I wanted, they used my credit card and went through the process of buying the present for me. Finally, I need a plumber. iHabilis.com was by far the fastest of the three services, getting me a plumber recommendation in just one hour compared to the one to two day long waits from the other personal assistant site. But when I called around to compare rates, I found a local plumber for $40 cheaper. We also asked Robin Heck, a New Jersey mom in need of a new dishwasher, to try these services as well. It would wait years if I had to do it myself. 16 place settings, fully integrated controls, LED. That looks good to me. I was happy with the service. I would recommend this to a bunch of my friends, let them try it out for free since it worked. A virtual assistant is very, very similar to a real assistant. So there's, you know, there's good days and bad days and they really need to get to know you. So while these services cost about $2 a task, they do come bundled. So a subscription for a month starts at about $10 for five chores. George, I could actually see using these services a lot more than that, though. Yeah, I, I, I guess, although Robin and I are sitting here watching the piece, and it seems like it's actually fairly labor intensive to give uh, these sites all the information they need. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of a ramp up, but once they have all your info, your address, your credit card, your contacts, then it gets easier. And there are certain tasks that they excel at, um, booking travel reservations, buying things online. They'll even wait on hold to make a doctor's appointment for you if you know that it's going to be a long, uh, a long wait time. So as you were researching all this, what's the most outrageous thing you found that someone was asking one of these <laughs> online personal assistants? <laughs> well, do? one reporter asked the services to contact all of her friends and get them to email in the photos they took at her wedding and make an online album. Um, I've heard of asking for searches for four-star acupuncturists. Um, I asked them to research preschools in my area, find tuition and links to parental reviews, and they did a pretty good job with that. And the weirdest one, read a 400-page book write a report so that a busy mom could be prepared for her book club. <laughs> That's absurd. <laughs> okay, Becky, thanks very much.